I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but the door must remain open. I know it's asymmetrical, it is so hot, and just for some reason the ventilation is not good in this room, so I'm gonna leave it open. It definitely impacts me more than it does you guys, but... <laughs> Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna to be watching Finding Dory. I had so much fun doing the commentary for the first one, and I'm ready to go into this one. For Finding Nemo, I have seen before, it was like part of my childhood. It was great to see again as an adult, like it was it was not what I thought it was. And this one, I've never seen before, so I think I'm in for a treat, I'm really excited, I've heard good things, so let's go right into it. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, if you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content, I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media, all my handles will be in the description below, and follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys haven't checked out my two new channels yet, make sure you guys go do that. I have a vlog channel and a gaming channel out right now, and I'm trying to get those two monetized, so if you watch the content on there, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want to check out my full-length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Oh. I suffer from short-term memory loss. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. Also, that was the one line that I knew about this movie because of the TikTok. Do you want to play hide and seek? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, stop. This kid actor is so cute. Remember, honey, we have to stay away from the undertow. Okay, sweetheart. We see the undertow and we say... Let's go. Let's go does rhyme. Did I forget again? Poor Dory. What if I forget you? Would you ever forget me? No. We will never forget you, Dory. But you do forget them. You have no idea where your family went. Oh my god, am I gonna cry? Because in Finding Nemo, she literally goes, what ha ever happened to my family? Finding Dory. Is it her family trying to find her? Wait. Are we following a baby Dory this whole time? Or is this adult Dory? Like, is Ellen DeGeneres playing her? Hello. Did you hear that? What was that? Hear what? Stan, I just, I heard someone say hello. Those two voices sound so familiar. Is that Kristen Wiig? And Bill Hader? Wait, it sounds exactly like them. If it's not those two, that'd be really embarrassing. But tell me that those two do not sound exactly like them. Oh, it's Kate McKinnon! Ah, uh, it does sound like her. I'm Dory. Can you please help me? Just, you wait here for one second, okay, sweet pie? Uh, Dory, sweetie, how about we- Oh, she's gone. Oh no! And she left again because she doesn't know what's happening! Can you help me? Bro, that guy gives no Fs. I suffer from short term. Oh, even the, the plants. I think those are plants. They won't even talk to her. Stop, the night sky is so pretty. Oh my God, and the stars reflecting off of her eyes. Hi, I'm Dory. Oh my God, she's literally been lost her entire life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Why do you keep apologizing? You don't have to apologize. Huh? My son! <gasps> oh, oh! This is at the same time as when she meets Marlin? Did they remaster this? I think they did. The animation is so clean in this. I wonder how many years this is after. This came out pretty, like, fairly recently, right? One year later? Oh, she lives next to them? Next to the anemone. This is a pretty stupid question. But do fish sleep? I'm sure they do, right? But with their eyes closed? A field trip? Ooh, I love field trips. Where are we going? I thought you told her. I did tell her. Mr. Ray has uh, too many fish to keep an eye on today. Uh -huh. You have problems remembering things sometimes. It can cause you to wander. Mm -hmm. Oh no, and he can't keep after her? So he's kicking her out of the classroom? That's so sad. I totally understand now. Okay. He wants me to be the teacher's assistant. Uh, no. That is not... What he's saying. Honestly, I admire your motivation, though. Mr. Ray, you got help. Marlon's giving up. Marlon's like, she's your job now, bro. Can someone tell me where they're from? Oh my god, Dory's not gonna know. Where'd you grow up, Dory? I don't know. My family. Where are they? My heart strings. Oh my god, this is so tragic. I need everyone to listen All to me. Alright, listen up. What do we have to be careful Everybody of? Everybody has to be careful of what? At least Dory is able to like stay and stay occupied. Better her being like a little backseat teacher than her wandering off into God knows where. 
Which is what she's doing now, so I guess I take that statement back. Oh shoot, they got some nice voices though. They're harmonizing and everything. Okay, do they practice before they migrate? That's a whole ass choir. And we sing. Is that how she like wandered off when she was a kid? She got sucked in? <gasps> I remembered something! <gasps> I remember my family! Oh my gosh, where are you going, girl? Not... Dory. Hello? Dory! <gasps> The fact that she doesn't suffer with way more anxiety is beyond me. Well, she has these small spurts. California's all the way across the ocean. Then we better get going. We've done our ocean travels. Please, all I know is that I miss them. Oh, you're from California, girl? She's a West Coast gal, OMG. Please help me find my family. Yeah, Dad, you can get us all the way across the ocean. No, but I know a guy. Who do you know, Crush? <gasps> yes! Oh, Squirt! You're still so little. I guess it is only a year after the Finding Nemo took place. Crossing the ocean is the kind of thing you should only do once. California's coming up, dude. Crush is like, I do this all the time, bro. Oh, yes! Look at him go. Still fun as ever. Good luck feeding the fishes. <laughs> I wanted more time with them. That wasn't enough time. Mom! Dad! Oh, God. Are you hiding under cups? What is all this garbage on the bottom of the ocean? Oh, that makes me so sad. These crabs are locals, and I get the feeling they're oh. shushing us for a reason. Bro, no way. There's an octopus. Octopus! Squid? Oh my God, it glows. <laughs> Bro, why do you roar like a dragon? Toothless, is that you? Dude, even though it's terrifying, it's kind of gorgeous. Do they actually glow like that? I really hope that they do. Ah! Nemo! Ah! Dang, the squid is really holding on for dear life. Squid eat fish? Man, I wouldn't know. I'm not a fish expert. Fishologist, if you should. Oh, is that a soda thing on her? That makes me so depressed. Nemo, are you okay? What not happened? Not now, Dory, please. Nemo, are you okay? I said not now. You've done enough. I have? Oh, she keeps forgetting. Go wait over there and forget. It's what you do best. <gasps> oh, no. Marlon, that was really mean. I'll fix it. I'm okay. Well, I'm gonna get help, okay? I'll no, you can't wander either. Hello? I'm Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver, where are you? Look out! <gasps> Marlin! Nemo! No, 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 not again! Not again! Let's take her inside and see how she does. Ah! See how she does for what? You just took her into your cooler! Welcome to the Marine Life Institute, where we believe in rescue and release. Okay, you better release her this instant! She's fine! She's chilling! Ow! <laughs> Uh, nice bracelet, Dory. No way. What are you? <laughs> Hello? Hi, I'm Dory. I'm Name's with... Hank. Hi, Hank. Uh-oh. Not good. That there is bad news. It's a transport tag for fish who can't cut it inside the Institute. They get transferred to permanent digs in Cleveland. No way. I have to get to the Jewel of Morro Bay, California and find my family. That's this place, the Jewel of Morro Bay, California. You're here. Wait, what? I want to know how she ended up in the ocean then, unless her parents aren't really from here, but that's where they were taken. Yo, this is very creative. It's all my fault she got kidnapped and taken into whatever this place is. Oh, Marlin, it's not your fault. Excuse us. Son, son, Hello. Son. We're trying These are sea lions. They could pounce at any moment. Mm. They don't look very threatening to me, Marlin. Oh, I want to be lazy. I want to be on a rock and sunbathing. Wait, that's so funny. They made it a play on word with the off because they bark. No more talking, okay? I don't like talking. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm fine too. Newsflash. Nobody's fine. Newsflash. Nobody's fine. Bro, this dialogue is hilarious. One, two, true. I hate small talk. It's got to be like a really engaging, interesting conversation that's like spontaneous that really gets me connected to that person or else I just... I really don't like it. If there's anyone that likes it, let me know in the comments down below. Bro, Dory's dad's got a forehead, bro. It's adorable giggle, and then my dad was really And funny. now your wacky memory's gonna get us caught. Do octopuses 
actually camouflaged? Or is that just the thing that this movie came up with? I honestly could not tell you. I am not an octopusologist. Good idea. Play dead. Play dead? You're about to get fed! She's a whale shark. Her name is Destiny. She's extremely nearsighted and has trouble navigating her environment. Hello there. Hi! Oh! Are they actually nearsighted? I am too. I have a pretty bad eyesight. Dory? Yes. Dory. Yes. We'd talk through the pipes when we were little. We were pipe pals. No way. Stop it. Actually, you are from the open ocean exhibit. Oh my gosh, stop. She's actually from an exhibit. How'd she end up in the ocean? How did you end up in here? I don't even want to think about how you got here. The door was closed. If you're trying to get to the open ocean exhibit, just go through the pipes. Take two lefts, swim straight, and you'll hit it. Hank, I, I can't go in the pipes alone. I I'll forget where I'm going. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no other way. There's no other way. <gasps> There's no other way. How convenient all of her circumstances right now in search of her parents are reminding her of events that were from her past. But it makes for a nice transition, so I ain't complaining. What are you even doing? We're calling her over, of course. Meet Becky. Oh, hi, Becky. You guys got any pelicans? I'll trust a nice pelican. Your friend is going to be in quarantine. The one and only one way into that place is Becky. <laughs> All you have to do is imprint with her, look her in the eye, and say, and she'll be in sync with you. I don't even know what she's looking at, bro. Oh my gosh. Yo, Becky's all protective now of Marlon. Gerald, give us your pal. We'll let you sit on the rock. We swear it. Welcome to your time on this rock. Time to go get, get off, off Gerald. Already? Oh, oh God, Becky, please save travels. Nemo's like, this is the time of my life, bro. You're lucky. No memories, no problems. What have you been through, sir? Are you okay? Would you like a hug? No one's gonna question the empty stroller driving itself. Kids, kids, kids! Here you go. Oh! Oh, my. God, would you look away that fast for an ugly baby? I would too, honestly. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I wouldn't. But also... <laughs> wait, 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 Becky, Becky, what are you doing? Who wrote? Becky, Ooh, focus! New plan. We have to get closer to Becky so she can hear us. What if you guys are just stuck on that bucket forever until all the water condenses? Ooh, God, conveniently landing in water? Bro, Marlin and Nemo should be dead by now. If not from the wrong type of water, from freaking head damage, from bouncing all over the place. Are we close to open ocean? I saw that other sign, so... What? What other sign? The world's most powerful pair of glasses. You have wasted my time. Wait, I'm remembering more and more, and I feel like my memory's getting better. You can't remember anything! It's probably how you lost your family in the first place! <gasps> it is, but Hank, why are you so mean? <laughs> Hank with a K. Hank. Hands. Oh, cause they touch them. And you best know that kids are not gentle, bro. I remember going to aquariums and like museums when I was a kid and having a touch pool there and you were able to like kind of poke at things. But usually there's a worker sitting there and telling you to be gentle with them. I'm sorry, Hank. I'm sorry. I can't remember right. You know what you need to do? What? Just keep swimming. Keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep, keep swimming. swimming. No, stop! That's why she knows that song. Hey, we've just gotta keep swimming. What? Where you guys gonna swim too, though? You're in one little pool. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> Amazing! Thank goodness we have an anchor. Marlon, you're really trying. You gotta learn how to roll your tongue. I miss Dory. Me too. The truth is, I'm just so worried about her. <gasps> oh god, you're gonna hop over there? Oh god, that's so dangerous. But if you learned anything from the first movie, you're just gonna have to go for it. Yo, you got the timing right. First try. The fact that y'all are not dead amazes me. <laughs> you did it! I haven't had anyone to talk to in years. Can I have your pearl? It looks gorgeous. I don't have a family. I dated a nice scallop for a while. This is the small talk that I'm talking about, bro. Like, I don't care. I'm so sorry. Looks like this is it, kid. 
Now, I got a truck to catch. I think I'm gonna remember you. <gasps> ah, you'll forget me in a heartbeat, kid. I'll have a hard time forgetting you, though. You like me. It's impossible not to. <laughs> Bye, Hank. Enjoy your time in Cleveland. Though I don't know why you want to go to Cleveland. Stop it. Every animal we rescue and care for will eventually return home. Are her parents back in the ocean? My home. That's my home. Bro. Something tells me that her parents are not going to be there. I hope it's not as tragic as I think it's going to be. I really hope not. I hope her parents aren't like gone, gone. You think she's that she can make it on her own, Charlie? Mommy loves purple shells. Oh, she's gonna go try to get a purple shell for her to make her feel better. Stop it! Why is that so cute? Mommy! Oh shoot! So she got sent through the pipe. You tell me how to get there. Sure, honey. It's two lefts and then a right. Repeat it to yourself, Dory. Two lefts and a right. Two lefts and a right. Yeah. I'm forgetting everything. I'm going to be stuck forever in the pipes. Pipe pals! Oh, scream for destiny. Destiny! Destiny! Dory? I'm lost in the pipes and my parents are in quarantine. Bailey, you've got to use your echolocation. You know it's broken. Just stop it and try the ooh thing Dory talked about, will you? You can't do it. It's the best pair of glasses. Ooh, guys. What? What? I'm getting something. I can see everything. And I can see you. Bro, is this actually how echolocation works though? I'm pretty sure echolocation is also like you can sense things ahead of you or whatever or wherever the sound is going because the way that the vibrations bounce back. Does it work that way though? Tune, she's not alone. I can't tell, but it's coming for her. Oh no. Ah! Oh! Oh! I didn't even think about it being Marlon or Nemo. I should have guessed that. What a cute little reunion moment they just had. I'm not Marlon and Nemo. <gasps> Dory really does speak whale. I heard it, and it's bringing back some very bad memories, so let's get out of here. But it was a pivotal moment for you. It's where you learned a lot, Marlon. So if anything, you should be associated with positive memories. Do you think my parents will want to see me? What? Why wouldn't they want to see you? Because I lost them. That is not your fault, honey. Oh my God, that just hit me. Ever since I've met you, you've shown me how to do stuff I never dreamed of doing. True. Dory carried you the entire last movie. Literally without her, you would not have found Nemo. You are about to find your parents. You'll be home. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, accept who you are. Accept yourself. Even with all your flaws and anxieties, that's who you are and who you are brought you here. This is it. We're in quarantine. My parents are here. <gasps> oh my God. It's literally a million Dories. Almost home. Almost home. I'm almost home. I love how home for her is her parents. It's so cute. Hank. You've got three minutes to get everyone in this cup with you. And then I'm on that truck to Cleveland. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Hank, for this last favor. Mom. Dad. Have you seen anyone with a big forehead are they not in here i'm gonna cry if they're not they thought you must have ended up here yeah. in quarantine they came here to look for you that was years ago they never came back when fish don't come back from quarantine it means they passed they're gone <gasps> wait stop no way wait what if they just went to cleveland what if they're in cleveland listen i don't have a family you do have family marlin is your family Nemo, Hank can be like a long lost uncle. I'm all alone. I found the octopus. Oh, oh my gosh, she's literally. Whoa. This camera work is so impressive. We're literally looking in her perspective. This is literally incredible. What is Dory gonna do? She's all by herself. Somebody help me. I've lost them. Uh, I can be more specific. My. My them! Oh, she's back to as she was when she was a kid. Wait, this is so sad. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You just gotta be you, man. What would Dory do? Yeah, what would Dory do? Help us better. I love how it's not her just instantly remembering what it is and just so happens to remember things. I love how it's her just what would I do? That's good writing because they're not taking the easy way out. There's nothing here. Nothing but kelp and some shells. Follow the shells. These shells seem too conveniently placed. Please tell me the parents made that for Dory in case she came here. Or no, isn't there a fish that does this with shells? 
Like, that's an actual thing, right? Hello? I was right? No way. Sorry! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? I know I've got a problem. You are beautiful the way you are, honey. Stop. Don't apologize for who you are. You found us. That's right. We believed one day you'd find us again. Exactly. And they kept giving her shells. You remembered in your own amazing story way. Yes, I love that moral. Makes a good little story. Have you been by yourself all these years? Oh, I haven't been all by myself. Marlon and Nemo! They, they were stuck in, in something that was, that was going somewhere. That thing. Destiny! Ooh, I got her! <laughs> One, yes. two. I can't. I can't do it. I'll never make it out there. Destiny. <laughs> I will be your eyes. You can be my eyes. Whoa! Oh, that's gorgeous. Hello, I'm Bailey. Mrs. Dory, Mr. Dory. Oh, please. oh, you made it too? This Marine Life Institute is losing a lot of animals. Someone's getting fired. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> It's over there! I don't see how we can get on it, Dory. Oh, man, if only there was a way to stop Thank traffic. You. Otters! Destiny, when the truck reaches the bridge, you flip me up there. Got it. You guys, follow me. Everyone else, stay here. Thank goodness the otters are compliant. Time for your idea. Okay, what idea? Ah! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, God, these otters are about to be brutally murdered. Look out! The fact that not a single car crashed into another is pretty impressive. Humans are not that freaking smart, I will say. Dory! I thought we'd never see you again. Guess I missed the rest of my family too much, huh? I got this. <clears throat> oh, we need your help. Back in. <laughs> no, no, wait. We don't have Dory. Becky! Aru! Aru! Dory! Oh, Rotori, go, go, go! You are coming to the ocean with me. What is it with you and ruining my plans? Because you're part family too. You're my weird uncle. <laughs> well, it's too late now. Bailey, where are they headed? I'm losing up. Oh God, it's getting too far. There is no other way. Well, what about that? Holy carp, there is another way. Dory is amazing. All you gotta do is have hope and take a look around. Simple as that. Suck it, bipeds. To the ocean we go. Ah! Ah! Hey! We are so fired. The amount of humans losing their jobs in this film is probably going to be a high amount. Those fishes were bouncing from tank to tank. There's at least one set that went to nothing. <laughs> Bro, the police is gonna have no one to arrest. There is a no human in that truck. Oh my god. Police are lined up for Dory. <laughs> Bro. That is hella dangerous. There's no way those fish aren't dying from impact. I don't care if they're in water. Jump, Hank. What's the truck gonna do now? You're gonna haul that truck out of the water? I hope so. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. One, two... Wait a minute, why am I counting? Hey, where is everyone? Of course she doesn't remember. Are you guys playing hide and seek? I was covering my face, so I was trying to hide. <gasps> oh, I'm five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Ah, you figured it out. We love your new deducting skills, you detective Dory. You could pretty much solve murders at this point. You coming, Dory? Me? Oh, I'm just going to the drop-off. Why are you going to the drop-off? Please don't get lost, Dory. Why are you going to the drop-off by yourself? Oh, she's actually just enjoying the view? Oh, the music cutting out. So peaceful. You all right? You look worried. I'm never worried. Me? Couldn't be me. You did it. <gasps> you just followed the shells all the way back home. It means you can do whatever you put your mind to, Dory. That's so cute. Yeah, I did it. That's so cute. You did do it. You can do anything, Dory. Nothing can set you back. I'm gonna cry. Oh, the same end card, too. I like it. Wow! I think the moral of the story here has got to be my favorite. It's such a good story that's being told and message that's being told here. Like, no matter what you're struggling with, you know, whether it be any, like, disorder or anxieties, 
even as simple as like just a hard time that you're going through. If you really put your mind towards something, you can get it done. You can accomplish, you can be successful and embrace who you are and be proud of who you are. Don't let that stop you from doing anything. That's the beauty of this movie. And I really like how they told that through the characters that we love. Oh, so good. 10 out of 10 in my book. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all. Have the best day ever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye.